All right, I'm out at Black Rock, which is uh, in Lake Stevens. They want a seal coat stripe, and they'd like to add some other stencils uh, to this, which I will put into Workman's because they haven't given me the total. But if you referred back to job number 7072, we had done this project before. Seal coat and stripes. So all the quantities are in there for seal coating, uh, the crack fill, and the striping. There's three different areas. You've got this area up on the north to my right, to the right there where it looks like a wishbone. And then you've got another area in the middle that's another uh, phase. And then you've got this larger phase, which is probably a three-phase project. So we got to look at how many mobs we put in on this originally. So yeah, we'll have to look at how many mobs it took us to get this done. But uh, it's just uh, back on the schedule again to get seal coat and stripe. This is with Yates Wood. I think we might have done this with G GFK Management. And... Um, this was uh, Jennifer Hansen. When she used to work at GFK, she now works at Yateswood. So we're doing this job for Yateswood. And uh, what else did she say? She told me to make sure we do the parking tees for parallel stalls. And then uh, she wants to add slow stencils. So I'm going to say we'll do three foot slow stencils, but I'll have to give a count and I'll put it on Workman's dashboard. Uh, and then the parking tees. They don't really have parking tees out here. They look like they're just uh, regular park, parallel parking stall lines. So we want to put those back. There's also some cross hatching at the mailbox kiosks. So in that map I showed you, uh, this is the north end. This is kind of what it looks like. You've got curb and gutter and you got uh, really no sidewalks on the side. So they're going to have to uh, probably park out here to the right on the shoulder when we go to seal coat and there's access into the property you know like right here they can get into some of their homes uh, if they need to uh, you know we, they can, we can provide foot traffic for later in the evening but you know it's kind of shaded in some areas um, going through the uh, the development that was in the middle it was uh, the second of the three I showed you same thing you've got curb and gutter but in this uh, development you've got some sidewalk going in on both sides so uh, they can have access to their homes in the middle development um, and at the same time stay off of the asphalt so here's your little um, parallel parking stall lines that you see on the side all right so this middle development there is access to get in uh, on the sidewalk uh, except for like right in this area when you come out to the front they'd have to cross or get on this side and go uh, onto the grass so bottom line is they'll probably need to just stay out of the development on the first and second uh, developments and then park here on the shoulder and then you got this third one that's really huge that uh, has speed bumps and and whatnot it's it's pretty large and they've got sidewalk that comes in but then you've got areas where they'd have to cross and you know we don't want them messing up uh, the seal coat <clears throat> asphalt condition is pretty good uh, and that's you can see where we seal coated before and you can see some of our lines from when we sprayed uh, you got curb and gutter You've got uh, parallel stalls along the side. You've got cross hatching at all the mailbox kiosks that we got to make sure we do. And all that stuff's already in that uh, that former bid that we did out here. There's a, let's see. I think that's about it. You got this shaded area, which we'll have to make sure we clean because it's pretty mossy. So I'm gonna say we'll probably need a couple days of power washing. And we can reference 7076 to see if, or excuse me, job 7072 to see if we did one or two days of power washing out here. But I would definitely say we've got one day of power washing on this third development, which is the largest of the three. Okay. 
Uh, you've got some of these areas where it goes up and over the curb and gutter and goes up the road. We need to seal coat that. Any area that you see asphalt going uh, you know, down like an alley or something like this, we need to make sure that we seal coat. Okay, so yeah, this larger development, it's probably gonna take about three mobilizations, three phases to get done. Uh, if there's any other questions, let me know. You know, outside of this development where I was showing you the shoulder parking, you know, that's areas that we can park extra equipment if we need to. Uh, yellow speed bumps, you know, we gotta make sure we paint the speed bumps as well. And from what I know, this is the only area that has speed bumps is at this intersection on the large project, the large phase. Okay. Uh, so there you have it. You can use the map from 7072 and reuse it um, for this project. And uh, any other questions, let me know. Thanks.